Well, <clears throat> I'm back, and um, I'm happy to be back. And um, I got uh, told you I was going to show a couple of new cars to put into the car cave here. And, um, you know, it's kind of funny. My girlfriend keeps asking me, uh, how do I find Roman? I say, well, I just straighten them up a little bit, and I keep shoving them in. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, this is a really a cool car. Well, there's plenty of Camaros in everybody's collection, and I've got some in mine. Although this one's a little newer. Uh, it's a new release, and um, I was going to get it from Fairfield Collectibles when I saw it, and it was out. So my backup to them is uh, die-cast model wholesalers, and I've been buying a lot from them through the years. And uh, they had it. We're looking at a Z28. Um, it's a 68, but it's a convertible. And um, we had a little snow in Philly uh, last night, and I uh, wasn't sure if I was going to get it today. So, um, hey, let, let's get this open. Let's do this. Let me put my eyes down. And uh, a little excited. This is, uh, if that'll come out, this is die-cast uh, model wholesalers, and um, I get 10% off on the next model. I use a little code called NEXT, and that does work, and uh, I do get my discounts. Um, so, um, what we have here, so this is a convertible, so we know what this is. That's the top. And um, this is the boot that goes on it. Okay. And um, yeah, so this is the top. Oh, wow. I'm going to turn this so you guys can see. Just give me a second here. I usually have a little work knife, and I didn't feel like running upstairs to get it. Uh, so I got this big pocket knife here. I'll set it out of the way for now. And, um, okay, so let me lift this up a little bit and let you see this. Take it out in a second. Oh, I hope this is coming out. This is really a beautiful model here. Looks like we got a piece here. That's part of the antenna. I'm going to set that there. I don't know if that was knocked off or not. And, um, so did I? I did. I knocked the piece on the floor. Excuse me, guys. I didn't see it fall. Okay, so there's the, the boot. And, uh, we've got the top here. Now, the reason why I really wanted to get this um, is because it's a convertible, and every time I've gone to get a Camaro, for whatever reason, I never really thought about it, um, but they're always a hard top, and my Chevelle back over here behind me is a convertible, and it's a gorgeous model, and uh, we've got fabric seats. So we've got fabric seats, paint job on this is, and the wheels are just great looking. 
The chrome is beautiful on here. Just beautiful. Uh, this is really worth waiting for. Now we gotta pull some stuff off of here. So, uh, you know, I gotta, uh, I keep these for when I'm building models. We got a lot of little stickers we got to pull off. So this is a Z28, and it's convertible. And um, it's limited. So die-cast models, uh, I believe, had a limited number of 570. And as you saw in the box, uh, this is from Acme. There's the name right there, Acme. And um, for those that um, are following the channel, um, that means you guys already know that um, Acme is really um, um, a very high-end company. They do a great job. So I'm looking at, we got to get these off the doors. You know, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm 71 years old now. And when I was a kid building models and building cars back in the 60s, um, you would think uh, that you grow out of it, and, and you don't. And um, by me being a bachelor, even still, I mean, I turned my house into a <laughs> car collection. The one thing that you don't do is you don't get a chance. You don't have people... Uh, come in and look at your car collections. I, I guess we protect them and um, I'm just learning the, uh, the this internet world and uh, YouTube has, has been a way for me to share my cars with you and um, Yeah, I'm just having a good time. So uh, let's just keep the, the good times going um, So we've got a spare tire We've got the labels on the lid, just like they did in the old days. I'm looking to see if I got a number. Uh, see if there's a production number on it. Um, wow, well, the undercarriage is done very, very nice. A lot of good detail back here. Um, I don't see a production number on the car. Oh, yes, we do. We have one. Yes, we do. This is 430, number 430. So I'm going to, I, I know the camera is that way there, so I'm going to tilt this up. I'm going to put the boot on it first so we can take a look at it like that. Uh, this interior is just knocking me out. It's so cool looking. We got fabric seat belts. And um, Don, I'm gonna get a camera, guys. I just I'm working on it. Uh, I'm a working on it. So um, the seats fold. Uh, the seats have uh, chrome trim, and um, of course we have carpeted floor. And uh, as you can see, this. So I'm gonna I guess try. We got sun visors. Here's the sun visors are, are up. And um, I'll try and bring it in as close as I can. These wheels are really sharp. Now I've got another really nice detailed Camaro. I'm gonna put it up against it. The antenna is right here. So if I if I stick it in the hole, it's just gonna fall out. Um, we wanna get the hood open. And I need one of my auto art tools for that. There we go. Now we're going to show you the engine. And first let me look at it. So, so she's wired up. She's plumb, alternator, no power steering, no air conditioner. And we have a windshield washer bottle, battery, 
Um, it, it's detailed, not as much as I thought it would be, but uh, not bad at all. The car itself is just uh, the interior, the console, the gauges, the steering wheel, and wood grain. There's gorgeous, uh, uh, even though the, the windshield wash uh, are um, um, plastic and chrome, but it um, uh, really looks nice. The paint job on this is really good. I, I hope this is coming out so you guys can see this. Um, the door handles, uh, side view mirror, the seats, uh, the wheels, um, and the paint job, side marker lights, Camaro is, uh, is, is raised um, in the back of it. So we'll give you another spin around here of it. Uh, Z28. So let's take a look at it with the top one. So this is all chrome base right here. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Look at that. That fit is really nice. Really nice. I am quite happy with this. And um, this is one I, I don't I don't know uh, which way I like it more, with the top or without the uh, without the top. Um, I've, I've got another Camaro. Let me, oh, I just want to grab it so you guys can see because it, it is a really, really nice. I'm going to tilt the camera just a little bit down. I did this the other day when I was doing the Eagles and it fell. And uh, I spent so long making a video. Uh, I was just hoping it didn't ruin it and it worked out pretty good. But um, let me let me bring up the other Camaro. It's just right here. Now this Camaro. Um, trying to see who makes this one because this this has a phenomenal amount of uh, of detail on it and this happens to be a movie car and it, it has the stickers on the trunk uh, I'm going to show you the stickers on the trunk and On this one, if you could see this engine, it is so done up. Let me tell you what it all has. Complete plumb wiring, battery, alternator, air breather, vacuum line on the, uh, on the brake booster. Uh, does it, uh, heater hoses are hooked up. Um, it, it, it's really got it. Got it going, and this is uh, probably a 67 or, or 66. Um, I don't know if this is 67 or 66, but this was in the movie Christine. There was two uh, two other cars besides the besides the um, besides the. Uh, the Chrysler, uh, the 57 Chrysler, was um, <clears throat> a Charger, which I have up there. Um, I believe it's a, a 69 Charger. Yeah, I believe it's a 69 Charger, which with a total of, uh, these were his buddies in the car. But um, this is a really nice uh, mob but, uh, between the two. Um, these these are phenomenal looking models. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, Turn the camera down just a little. 
so you can see uh, next to the old and the new. Um, this really looks good. The Z28 sticks out real well. You've got the hood locks on here. Of course, we got the, the racing hood on here. The stripe job is phenomenally done. It has a high polish on it. And it has the uh, Chevy Mag wheels. You know, as a young man, I was a mechanic and I got to drive a lot of cars, working in new car dealerships, especially Chrysler, which was my first dealership. 69 Roadrunners and GTXs, I could take them in the back orchard and light them up and I had a lot of fun doing that back in those days. I was a mechanic for about 25 years, but I started out at the bottom of the line as a new car get ready man. Heck, I was what, 17? Uh, that was just before I went in the Marine Corps. So um, this is this is uh, this isn't new. So I'm going to set this over here and um, move my tools out of the way here. By the way, this is a, a really cool uh, set of tweezers here. This is a Pep Boy special. I think I got them for five bucks for when you need glasses. You know what I'm saying. So I'm going to set them down there because I want to show you, um, <clears throat> pardon the raspy voice, uh, I want to show you something that I got from uh, Diecast Models. This Miller High Life sign that you can see, I just added that, pardon me, I'm belching, to the car room. And the reason why I just added it is, this is a very old can of beer, but the can is red, white, and blue. It's patriotic. I think I've had this can of Miller now for, uh, it's more than five years. Uh, I haven't seen them come back with, a, with a, a, a can like this. I was waiting for, I wanted to get a couple for the military room. Actually, took this out of the military room. Then I'm gonna set that there because I only drink Miller High Life. That is my, my weakness. I gotta stand up to grab it. And they came out with this. Now I'm in Philadelphia, so I kind of did a little something with the Eagles. That's my own my own thing, everybody loves doing that. I think I put a little something on the tailgate there. Let's see. Um, it's really a nice truck. Uh, it, it's it's got a lot of it's, it's got a lot going for it. I mean, it, it was just shy under a hundred bucks, but um, the, we got the engine in there, the two tone interior. I, I mean, they really did a pretty decent job on this tailgate goes down and um, uh, this, this it, it just makes me laugh a little it just something that I can uh, really relate to is Miller and uh, I've been putting them away a, a very very long time I even put the birds back here on the back window so um, I've had these metal signs for ages, I have a big one up there. You saw when I first did the room. And I actually have another one over there. I decided to put two of them up. And I put Batman, uh, he's up there somewhere. And uh, I'm just reminiscing with you guys, cause I just, this is only, uh, this isn't even a month old yet. Not, not even a month. So, um, I will set this back over here. And we're gonna put my priceless Little highlight there. Now, I did get another model I'm going to show you. But before I show you the model, um, while we're having fun, and this, this is just, just 118 fun right now. Um, I hope I don't screw this camera up. So, uh, I'm just going to show you that uh, you can't see him. I'm going to slide there we go so down here I have back to the future 
and uh, these are these are 124 so I have this one and we have all three I have all three of them and I've always been contented with with all three of them and I even have just the, the DeLorean uh, by its by itself and uh, I was looking at the one that Hot Wheels had and I said you know I think it's time for me to get a 118 and uh, this is the skateboard Michael Fox was on so what what I did was I bought the figures from my infamous flea market. So they come with two different heads. This is Michael J. Fox. And here we have the professor. And he's holding the wrench like he did in the movie. And he has a set of hands, and then he has goggles he can put on. So uh, I, I, I liked him like this. So I, I went and got the 118, actually because I saw it uh, in one of the collections that I was looking at. Uh, and when I got it, the detail that pops out on this it is just simply incredible and I mean the weld lines uh, for this sort of exhaust I guess it is um, the detail and the effort that they put in to all the wiring and um, I looked into it uh, there happens to be a special about the DeLorean uh, on YouTube uh, beseeches me how I even found it um, but they they really did a great job on the model if you don't know um, as to the movie car I, I mean it is really really close uh, they got uh, the the alarm clock is on the inside the flux capacitor meter is in the back and I wish I had a camera but the car is incredibly detailed with uh, with all its move, movie magic so I, I, I've decided now I want to get all three of these in 118 and uh, it's it's just it just looks so cool and you can flip this and you can tilt that back and on the small ones it, it actually just lifts off um, but it's just incredible. I wish I could really get a way to look at it on the inside. But um, the the next thing was um, the 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 reproduction of these the real size uh, real car real real uh, car. They went through a lot of trouble to uh, to make them. Um, they had some guys. I don't know how many years it took them, but they were so meticulous. Uh, they were talking about if, if a screw belonged behind something that you wouldn't see in a million years, it didn't matter. They had to have that screw. The original cars were, um, I don't know if they found one or more than one, but it, it, it almost like rusted away. And, um, and they spent a, a lot of time to uh, reproduce uh, a movie version of it. And... Um, this is just uh, a really, really, really cool car. Uh, it has metal windshield wipers. Uh, the, the, there's nothing in it, the trunk to really see. But you can just sit here and every time you look at it, you kind of you kind of see a little something you didn't see before. Um, I'm seeing a few things I didn't even pay uh, much mind to. Um, 
you know, I, I try and um, come down and well, I've got it hidden down here, but I come in, I uh, get a sip of my Miller in my Eagle. And uh, I hope we beat Dallas. Uh, you guys are probably going to make fun of me if we lose, but uh, at least uh, we are in the playoffs, I will say that. Um, uh, th these are just uh, three new cars in the collection. The DeLorean, the 68 uh, Camaro convertible, and um, my Miller High Life truck. And uh, it feels pretty cool to do this. Um, I don't know everybody by name. I've looked at uh, guys uh, that have collections. I, you're all over the country. And um, I'm, I, once again, I'm just saying I'm very impressed. You make me feel good. And it's a way to share what I really love uh, with other people. So um, I, I've read your comments and um, you're very kind and I appreciate all that. So once again, from Chico, I want to say thank you so much. It's great to have an outlet to share my hobby with. Um, I still haven't done that Vietnam yet, but I'm working on getting to it. The room's a mess. I got to get it straight. But um, that's, that's pretty much it for now. So this is kind of a short video. Uh, we did a new car here. We got a new car. I'm going to do oohing and on on this for a little while. And, um, but... Um, that's it, guys. So anyway, um, I don't know what's next, um, but when I decide on getting another one, um, I'm going to put it on the uh, YouTube channel and, and share it with you. So for now, peace out. Thank you to all our servicemen in uniform out there, no matter where you are or what you're doing. Uh, God bless you. God bless your families. And, um, and the world can be a better place if we all just try and get along. So, from Chico, good night. Thank you.